Download the News Channel 5 app for iPhone, iPad, Android, and Windows devices today. The McDonald's Five on Your Sidelines begins now. Eve of Ignatius Eds and McCas uh, Maslin McKinley, which you can see on Newsnet 5 tomorrow. We proudly present week 10 of the high school football season. We're rolling out the big gun tonight. Just four Ooh. years removed from cheerleading in high school. <laughs> that is Lee Jordan. How many years did you say? Just four years away. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought you said something else. No. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> All right, Mike is here. Nick Camino's here from WTAM. Let's roll it off for you because we got a ton of stuff for you tonight. We start with our game of the week CBC title on the line at Kenston. This was a big one. Bombers get on the board first. Ten yard run by Parker Gudula. Seven nothing in favor of Kenston. The Bombers strike again. Offense was moving quick. Forty yard run to the end zone. Jake Silberman. Fourteen nothing. Bombers gets into the end zone. Aurora wouldn't give up. Alex Simmercheck fights to get in the end zone as well, crawling for those last couple yards. Kenston upsets Aurora. Thirty one twenty one, ending Aurora's perfect season. Men are hosting Strongsville, all Cardinals in this one, but the Mustangs, the little fight in them. Bobby Cole, Nick Horig, that's good for a 16 yard touchdown. Men are, though, just too much. It was a blizzard. Jason Blizzard, the 25 yard touchdown here. Both teams rolling into the playoffs. Strongsville may need a little help. 37 7, the final. All right, Brunswick hosting Solon. First quarter, no score in this one. The Blue Devils knocking on the door, though. Ethan Engelke. Pounds the rock, keeps that pile moving, gets in for the Brunswick touchdown. Ensuing possession for Solon. This is Melvin Jackson you're going to see here cutting it to the corner. He dives into the end zone right here, but they call him out of bounds at the three-yard line. Brunswick would actually come up with a turnover a couple plays later. Blue Devils with a huge win tonight, 34 to nothing. In the rain and Painesville, Riverside taking on Madison. All blue streaks in this one. Connor Smith to Aaron Petricelli. And he takes it in for the 15-yard touchdown. Madison wins 56-35. Oh, she's got a future, doesn't she? Yes, she does. <laughs> All right, third quarter, Beachwood at West Yaga. Bison on a roll. Watch this number eight, Nate Hamilton. He is slithering through the holes on a 26-yard run. It looked like Beachwood was going to get the offense rolling. But West G's defense stepping up big time. Chris Zanetti forces the fumble. Sean Kirkwood is there to recover. Then the Wolverines punch it in. They go to the workhorse. Abdul Levy. He gets the TD. Wolverines pass the Bison tonight 35-6. to six. Happy Halloween from the student section of Rocky River. One of the best on the west side. They were taking on Elyria Catholic tonight. One play is all you need to see. Quarterback Matt Lowry doing his best Johnny Manziel impersonation. <laughs> He'll go over there. No, I'm not going to go. I'm going to get a big block right there. And then back up the middle. River eliminates EC from the playoffs. 49-21. He looked like Manziel. Yeah, did, didn't he? Youngstown Ursuline taking on the fighting Irish of St. Vincent St. Mary. The Irish punting here inside their own 10. But that is blocked. And it's Aaron Jones recovering. Covering inside the end zone for a touchdown. The Irish using their ground game, though. Don Davis on the quarterback keeper. He found a lot of room here for stepping out of bounds and picking up 22 yards on the scamper. St. V's defense, they step up to Marcus Hurd with the pickoff, and he goes untouched for the score. The Irish win it 38 to 6. And Illyria hitting the road to Medina. The Bees gambling on fourth down, and it would pay off. Colin Miner hooks up with Jake Venadia on the 18-yard touchdown strike. Medina in business, but Illyria would answer on the very next drive. Hunter Parch finds Brad Schneider, and he takes it to the house. Illyria heads to the playoffs with a 50-20 win. Up oh, ESPN on line one. Lee Jordan, you have a job on Sports. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. You're so I'm ready. Close. All right, time in the show now where we feature games that you sent to us. We send it to Leah Richards back in the newsroom. Hi, Leah. Thank you, boys and Lee. Our first game tonight comes from RRT Productions. Wood Midview trying to finish the perfect season with a get it done on the road against Berea Mid Park. And the Titans fans showing their Halloween spirit. Berea Mid Park gets on the board with Nick Gassman to Matt Owens for the 18-yard score. But the Middies, they can't be stopped. 
Dustin Crum throws a strike to Logan Boylan, and he gets in the end zone. Midview finishes with the perfect season, 38 to 28, and it's their first 10-0 season since 1999. These next highlights, courtesy of Decker Vision. Westlake fans dress up as they hosted Brexville in the second quarter. 7-0 Bs, Luke Sternad, deep downfield, leaping catch by Tyler Tupa, and then 39, and then a few plays later, Strand to Patterson again. Five-yard pass, 14-0, Brexville at the half. They roll 35-7. to For more highlights, scores, and how you can get in on the action with your pictures and videos, go to Newsnet5.com. I'm Leah Richards, and back to you all in the studio. Thank you very much. Boy, we've got so many more teams that are fighting for the playoffs. When we return, we'll show you all those. We'll be all over our five-county area. And who doesn't want to come back just to see Lee do more highlights? That's right. Let's she go. Rocks. She rocks. Back after this. <laughs>